Hey y'all, good morning. It's Nani here. I'm going to do a walkthrough for the Island of Radiant Lotus this morning. And this is one of the uh, first quests, um, one of the early quests that you will get when starting. So more of a newbie thing. Um, and it becomes available once you reach game level 15. All right, let me give you a couple of maps first. Um, here is... The first one, so the broken lotus, the, the deal is you need to repair this lotus right here. So you're going to need to get to the stars. The sarcophagus are here, and then um, back here where these red stars are, you're going to find, or pink I guess, you're going to find broken lotus petals, and you have to collect the tablets from the sarcophagus in the center island, and then there are two load broken lotus petals on each of these little eyelets. Here's a little bit um, different map that Jeff did. This is a good one. So the things you need to get are in the circles. Um, I'll point out here that there are purple around this baboon here and here. These are two baboons that you actually have to fight. There are six baboons on this island and you can go around most of them, I'm actually not sure if you can get around that one right there. Um, I'll have to try to figure that out. So getting started, this is where you're entering. You're going to have to come through here and build this bridge. And there are four bridges to build. And then you have to get back here to this lever. You don't have to fight this baboon. You can go around him. You get back to this lever and that opens this gate right here. This here says workshop. Um, this is where you will be repairing your lotus parts. Okay, four bridges, and this is what's required for each one. So this times four, and um, y'all know I hate math, so I'm not going to do that math, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it out. So here's this quest to reach the lever. Again, it's right here. Um, this baboon has been fought and won, but like I said, you can go around that, and you're going to go through the gate right here. There is a quest um, associated with fighting one of the baboons. I think this might be the first quest for newbies where you actually have to do a battle. Those baboons are 54 strength to your 50 strength. Um, if you want to use a weapon, it's the cudgel, and you can get, buy those with florins from your shop on your home island. If you don't have any cudgels and you want to, um, and you don't have florins, when you get on the island to fight, you can click on the little pink button, and it'll pop up this mini mart, and you can use diamonds to buy cudgels instead. All right, there'll be three different quests, a part one, a part two, and a part three, to open the six sarcophagus, sarcophagi, to get the tablet that's inside. All right, and here's the center island, and all six of those sarcophagi are located on this center part. And your broken lotus is going to be right here where this patch of dirt is showing. You will also get, um, it'll also be a three-part quest to open um, all six, or to locate all six of the cracked lotus petals, and there's two on each of the small eyelids. Here's a close-up of the eyelet on the left side, and you will have to fight that baboon to get in there. Here's the right eyelet, and getting there and there, and you can see we went by this baboon and did not fight him. And here's the little eyelet at the top, and this baboon does have to be fought to get through there to get to that one right there. Once you reach the cracked petal, all you have to do is just click right on it and it'll pop into your, your uh, storage, or dock, your dock. Okay, that hut in the front where you're going to be doing your crafting, um, this is what you'll see when you click on that. And you need uh, one tablet and one cracked lotus pe petal to start the repair. So you're going to have to do this six times and it's a day and a half for each one of those. All right, once you have all six petals um, crafted, all you have to do is repair your lotus, and that's just a matter of clicking on the broken lotus. And again, the broken lotus will be sitting right here where this patch is, and then you just click it, and that's it. You're done.
After that, take your lotus back to your home island and place it on your island. All right, and here is the radiant lotus on my home island, and I'm gonna um, give you an idea of how this works real quick. Um, this really is for people who are not hoarding. You can see I'm I hoard my energy now. In the beginning, it's hard to do that. So what this does is help you to refill your energy bar if you don't have any energy. If anyone wants to know anything further about energy, about um, hoarding or other, you know, using the Yoda method, I'm going to put this link to this playlist um, in the top comment when I'm done with this video. All right, so the explanation again, um, you can see this energy bar is full, so you will not be able to collect anything from your lotus, and it'll say limit, and you can't do anything. If your energy bar is not full, then you will be able to get whatever energy is in here to fill your energy bar. So this charges at the rate of one per minute, and right now it's holding 100. Um, so what that means is if you were to fill this bar right here, then this goes down and then it starts to refill itself at the rate of one energy every 15 minutes. I know that's kind of confusing, but once you get it, it'll, it'll make more sense. All right, so when you initially get your Lotus, it's going to be able to hold 50 energy for you to use. Um, and Whoops, sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, you can upgrade this by 30 levels. You can bring this up 30 levels, and let me explain that. It's gonna take Florins to upgrade. So this is how much your Lotus will hold. It shows you here as you upgrade, this number increases, and to upgrade it, you just click on this plus symbol right here. So, Level 1 to level 2 is 1 green florin. Level 2 to level 3 is 2 green florins, and we're going from 55, and then going from 2 to 3 takes it 55 to 60. 60 to 65 is 3 green and 1 blue florin, and this will continue to increase as we go, and you can see here um, it's holding 60 when you're at level 3. It will hold 65 energy for you at level 4. There's going from level 4 to level 5. From level 5 to level 6, that is what the requirement is, and that'll get you up to 75 energy being held in your Lotus. So skipping forward to a cheat sheet, um, these are the florins required. Here's the level showing, and it tells you how much. And for whatever reason, this level 9 takes you up plus 10 energy and it's the only one that does that everything else is just plus five and this um this is if you completely empty your lotus how many hours it's going to take to completely recharge and be full for you to use again but like i said it continually recharges so um um you know you might not get it empty all the time but if you do there are the hours for it to refill so I went looking for a um, good picture of the broken lotus, and I don't know where Jennifer... Jennifer used to play way back in the beginning and had one of the first and best Facebook groups out there. Um, she no longer plays, but I, I don't know where she got this map because this is a completely cleared-off island, but this gate is not open. It's so bizarre. Um, very bizarre. So anyway, the switch is there, and it opens that gate. I don't know what how she did this or got this. But um, there's the broken lotus, and that's what it looks like when you click on it. So when you go to repair it, just click and then repair it. Okay, so basically that's it. It's been a long time since I've been able to use my lotus because I always have a full energy bar, but I do have it up to holding 105 energy. Um, and it just sits there. I wish I could put this in storage at this point. Um, but for any newbie or anyone using Yoda Method, um, this is a great tool to use to help you fill up your energy bar. So, um, like I said, I will put this playlist in the top comment for anybody wanting more information about energy. And please don't forget to hit the like button and share my videos around. One more look at this map.
So you're coming over here first and then going in here. And good luck to everybody. And I hope everybody's staying warm. It is cold outside today. And I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Please don't forget to hit the like button and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much.